Cable News has struggled to get the American public to care as much as they're required to about impeachment in Ukraine and Russia. Ah! This might be worth some reflection. Maybe other stories are more important to people who live here, like the fact they're dying younger. Oh, no. For Don Lamont over on CNN, there's an easier answer. Ordinary people are stupid, unlike Don Lamont, stupid. And look, he also knows deep in his heart that Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. And so that's partly him playing to their base and playing to their audience, uh, you know, the, the, the credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that... That, that Donald Trump's a smart one, and they're, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are dumb. <laughs> Only them elitists know where Ukraine is. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are a lot of lessons you can take from that tape, which is all over the Internet, and you should play it again and again, because it tells the whole story of the moment we're living in. First, and most obviously, once again, the things they're accusing you of, not generally, but specifically, are exactly the things they're guilty of themselves. They're projecting, they're externalizing their own internal problems and neuroses and laying them at your feet. You're a racist, say people who attack you for your skin color. You're an idiot, says Don Lamont and that other guy with the beard. Again, Don Lamont. This is the man, and we're not making this up, who once questioned out loud whether a missing airliner might have flown into a black hole. What if it was hijacking or terrorism or mechanical failure or pilot error? But what if it was something fully that we don't really understand? A lot of people have been asking about that, about black holes and on and on and on. They're also referencing the Twilight Zone, which has a very similar plot. That's what people are saying. I know it's preposterous, but it, is it preposterous, you think, Mary? Don Lamont, the man who sincerely believes that the fruit-based cold dessert is pronounced sorbet, calling you stupid. We're joined tonight by author and columnist Mark Stein, who is a connoisseur of moments like this. It's great to see you, Mark. So as a rube who lives in rural America, how are you responding to this? Yeah, that's uh, CNN uh, flying the Democrats into the black hole. If you want more Trump, this is how you get more Trump. They, exactly. they might as well, exactly. they might as well relabel that panel uh, the uh, the the Trump re-election uh, co committee. That that's <laughs> that's what they're doing. Here. This is the this is actually uh, the bipartisan establishment yes. uh, condescension summed up completely. Sixty three million people are credulous rubes, according to these guys. By, by the way, the black hole theory isn't... Things like that come by every day on CNN. Uh, just and MSNBC, just uh, uh, the other day, Lawrence O'Donnell suggested that Trump droned Soleimani as a favor to John Bolton so that Bolton uh, would agree not to testify wait in the second, Senate wait impeachment. In wait, 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 Larry McDonald went to Harvard. I don't think he would say right, so. He right. went to Harvard. And, uh, it's Harvard, right, man. Right, right. Exactly. Wow. And, you know, it's not going to stop there. Next thing, as a fa if Bolton doesn't go for that, Trump might have to drone Justin Trudeau. That's what they talk about <laughs> on CNN and MSNBC. And, uh, and they're the ones who say that the 63 million people are just credulous rude. I'd be interested if Hunter Biden could find Ukraine on a map, and he's made millions of dollars from that joint. Well, this, by the way, also, also, like Chris Cuomo... A Yale graduate. Did you go to Yale? Right, Mark. Right. I, you're, I don't think you're smart enough to go to Yale. Are you? No, no. I, I, I certainly couldn't. I'd be. Uh, I certainly don't have the. Uh, I, I mean, this, this is the idiocy of this. That that you're, you're. It's not a public policy difference anymore. Uh, it's just that exactly. they're stupid. It used to be that just Republican presidents were stupid. Yes. Now they're saying that tens of millions of Americans are stupid. Yes. And in and in a democratic age, that's actually not going to help the people who advance that theory. Imagine thinking that anyway. I mean, it's a, it's a deeply uncharitable, inhumane, cruel no. way to look at your own country. And it's, it's hard to well, imagine people feel that way. 
It's like a hot mic moment. That's what's so weird. Yeah, it's like exactly. they're talking in the commercial break and they don't realize they're on air. And that's how they really think uh, of millions of their countrymen. It's an, and, the, and, and actually, his line, Rick Wilson's stupid line, he's a Republican Party strategist. Uh, Republican voters give money to the Republican Party and the Republican Party gives it to idiots like Rick Wilson. That yeah, bipartisan nonsense is why we're where we are today. Exactly. Man, we missed you last week. Mark Stein, welcome back. Thank you. Hey, great to be with you, Tucker. Thank you.